Hello everyone, my name is Nicole, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is one of the most favorite ones that I have ever filmed. It is going to be the love child of my two favorite passions in life, which I know a lot about, which are perfumes and astrology. So I decided to divide this video in two parts. The first one is going to be uh, the perfumes that I think perfectly embody a specific sign related to water signs and fire signs, which I'm going to film today, and the second part is going to be earth signs and uh, air signs. So let's get started. The first um, sign I'm going to talk about is going to be a, a fiery sign, so I'm going to go with the fiery category first. Uh, it is going to be Leo, and I think the essence of a Leo woman is very confident, very leader-ish. She knows exactly what she wants. She wants attention, uh, and she is golden. Like, if Leo would have a color, it would be gold. So I think that the perfume that perfectly embodies that is J'adore by Dior because it just screams, look at me, I want all the attention, I am powerful, I know what I want. And I feel like this perfume perfectly describes a woman like that. It is very florally and fresh, but at the same time, it, it screams confidence. Like, you cannot wear this perfume if you're not a confident woman. If you don't know what you want in life, this is not the perfume for you, and a Leo definitely knows what she wants in life. So this is the perfect perfume for a Leo. Just like it's beautiful golden locks and um, yellow fur. I think that this perfectly describes Leo woman. Next up we have Aries, which is a sign that is very straightforward. She's also a leader, but unlike the Leo, she is not all about herself. She is more about her image. So she wants to look perfect. She wants to smell good all the time. She wants to have her life together. And I think that the perfect, perfect perfume that embodies an Aries woman is Burberry Body. So I think that this perfume screams confidence and I know what I want. I am a leader, but at the same time, um, I'm very straightforward and if you don't like that, that's your problem. Uh, an Aries woman is definitely a tornado. Like You're gonna experience all sorts of emotions when you're surrounded by an Aries woman. She knows exactly what she wants. She knows everything. Every part of her life is calculated and is very uh, aggressively put out in the world. So I think that Burberry body perfectly describes the essence of an Aries. So that's the second perfume. Third up, we have Sagittarius. So the way that Sagittarius are brought up is that uh, they're very adventurous. They like to travel. They're always surrounded by people. They're very opinionated, so whatever they think, they will say. They're the type to uh, first say and then think, but at the same time, it's really good because that kind of makes their charisma. They're also very deep and very philosophical. They have this little um, watery note to them, I feel. Like, they have... Like, they can... Um, get along well with almost every other sign. They're a perfect um, leader, I believe. I think that they have all these characteristics that make them very strong-willed and very intellectual at the same time. I feel like they're very strong and very extra, and the perfume that embodies that is Versace Cristal Noir. So, oh, I said that weirdly. Versace. Anyways, Versace Cristal Noir. Uh, I think that it is so like bling blingy, and it's very extra, just like the Sagittarius woman. It's very deep and philosophical, yet it smells very confident. So this is the perfect scent for a Sagittarius woman. So this was uh, for my fire signs. Next up for my water signs, I'm going to start with Cancer. So the Cancer woman is very uh, emotional, but very, very moody. She also knows what she wants, but at the same time, it all depends on her mood. If she's feeling down, she's not going to do as good as if she's feeling like amazing and powerful. However, I think that Cancer women are very... Um, how do you put this? I feel like they know what they want, uh, and they're very goal-oriented. However, they're very much... Um, dependent on their mood and they're very moody and emotional so this can drive them off sometimes Some people don't really understand them because of that but I think that cancer women are very strong and very confident so that's why I chose Gucci Bamboo although Gucci has uh, witty notes which would be perfect for someone like a Taurus someone of an earth sign I still think that um, uh, Gucci Bamboo is confident and deep enough to be fitted for uh, a water sign like cancer so Gucci Bamboo for me embodies what a cancer woman is, their, her essence, her charisma, her charm, but at the same time uh, she's very deep and moody and emotional. So this perfectly embodies a cancer woman for me. Next up we have uh, another water sign which is Pisces. Uh, so the fish is very... Um, Emotional, but also very flowy, very likable sign, very artsy, very playful, very flirty, very 
uh, how do you say this? She's like in the air, but at the same time, everyone likes her. Everyone likes this girl. She's a very beautiful uh, fish. The Pisces is basically the fish. Um, and at the same time, I feel like she's a flower child. She's a cute girl. Uh, she's a soft spirit. She's very flowy and very artsy, very creative. And I think that um, Marc Jacobs' Daisy perfectly illustrates that kind of person. Uh, she's the type of girl who likes pink, but at the same time is very emotional. But also, when she wants something, she go ahead, she goes ahead and gets it. Uh, and I think that Daisy. Um, by Marc Jacobs is perfect because it's very floral yet it has this um, essence of like a tr it leaves this trail of like a water sign so I think that a, gr a girl who is Pisces would perfectly be able to pull this off um, exactly so yeah it's Daisy by Marc Jacobs um, next up oh it's actually Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs sorry my mistake next up we have the third sign which is a water sign which is actually my personal sign so I kept the best for last, <laughs> and it's Scorpio. Um, I feel like a person who's a Scorpio is very misunderstood. We have a very mysterious and emotional nature, but we're also very much in our own heads. I think mysterious is the perfect word to describe us because we're very intense people. We want, whenever we're with someone, we want to penetrate them in every sense of the way we want to know what they're doing, where they're doing, what they're thinking. We're very philosophical and deep people. I think that out of all the signs, we're one of the most deep and philosophical ones. And that's not always a good thing because we feel things to such an extent, like you either love us or you hate us. So I think that the perfume that perfectly embodies this essence is Alien by Thierry Mugler. It is not my favorite, favorite scent. However, I love it. I can definitely understand the artwork behind it and I think that it's a true masterpiece um, and I think it's also you either love it or you hate it. This is an oriental amber and jasmine perfume and the jasmine makes it so that not all people like this. So just like the essence of a Scorpio, you either love us or you hate us. It's also a very deep and mysterious perfume. It's more like for a night out, however I do think that it could be a beautiful signature scent for a woman who is like a Scorpio. You definitely need to have a certain mysterious, profound and deep nature to be able to pull this off. So um, Alien by Thierry Mugler is perfect, perfect for a Scorpio I think. Um, and that was it. So that's part one of my uh, saga of um, of uh, perfumes and astrology signs and I hope you liked it. Please let me know uh, what you think and if you have a different perfume that perfectly embodies a sign in your opinion, I would love to hear that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.